Hey guys, I'm Jake, and this is your Atlas Weekly for Wednesday, May 7th. One of the biggest books of the week is Original Sin Number 1 from Marvel Comics, written by Jason Aaron with really cool pencils from Mike Diodato. Someone has murdered the Watcher, and Nick Fury is gonna find out who. It's a $5 book, but with your purchase, while supplies last, you get an Original Sin Watcher's Eye Bouncy Ball. It's pretty fun. Miles Morales The Ultimate Spider-Man number one is out this week. It's a relaunch, but it's still written by Brian Michael Bendis with pencils from David Marquez. Um, a big character from the Ultimate Spider-Man universe returns in this issue. If you've ever been a fan of this book, you gotta check this issue out. Greg Rucka brings us Cyclops number one this week. It's the young version of Cyclops who's been transported to present day, but he's gonna go on some cool space adventures with his dad. The Woods number one is out from Boom this week. It's written by James Tinian IV, one of Scott Snyder's protégés. It's about an entire school that gets transported to an alien planet and chaos ensues. From Dynamite Entertainment and written by rising star Tim Seeley, the Chaos Comics universe returns in Chaos Number 1 with really cool variants from The Walking Dead's Charlie Adlard. Madame Frankenstein Number 1 is one of the two new image books this week. It's in black and white, so it's for the cool kids. Nailbiter number one is the other new image book this week, written by Joshua Williamson. It's got a cover that is not for the faint of heart, but the inside is a cool detective story, which is probably as close to true detective as we're ever going to get in a comic book. Now I'm going to throw it over to Darren for some of his featured books of the week. Thanks, Jake. My pick of the week is the New 52 Futures End number one. It's a continuation of the Zero issue from Free Comic Book Day. It's a great story if you like Batman Beyond, and this is his first appearance in the New 52. My other pick of the week this week is the hardcover edition of Castle Unholy Storm. It's an original graphic novel from Colin Bunn, who writes a lot of Marvel books. Um, he's a pretty consistent writer, and this is the next adventure in the Derek Storm series. There's also a lot of really big graphic novels that are coming out this week. First up, you've got the trade paperback of Batman Volume 3, Death of the Family, and the hardcover of Batman Volume 4, which is the first half of Year Zero, both by Scott Snyder. It's the hottest, coolest, best book coming out right now. The new Marvel in Continuity original graphic novel line continues this week with their third entry. It's X-Men No More Mutants, written by Mike Carey with pencils from Salvador La Roca. And Godzilla fans have a huge reason to be excited this week. The graphic novel Godzilla Awakening is coming out this week. It's from the guys who brought us the Pacific Rim graphic novel. It's a good primer for the new movie. I'd also like to thank everyone so much for coming out to Free Comic Book Day, sharing your photos on the social media. We had a record turnout. It was amazing. I've still got a few free left, so if there was another one you wanted or a friend who wanted one, feel free to come back and go crazy. And remember, guys, it happens the first Saturday in May every year. I cannot wait till next year. That's it for this week, guys. If you like the videos, be sure to tag us or use hashtag Atlas Weekly. Thanks a lot. We'll be back next week, but until then, be sure to check us out on the Facebooks or these guys. That's all right, dude. I just, I don't, I, I, I want to make sure it's 100% usable before I drop gold. Into I just totally fell over. All right. Okay, I gotta say something better than that. Oh boy. Okay. I gave us. I can say that better. Let me try that again. That was okay. stupid. <laughs> um. All right. It happens. Uh, okay. Oh, what a clown. <laughs> Oh my god, my mind is so going. Sorry. Other way, Jake? Yeah. According to the New 52, Batman didn't create Brother Eye. Yeah, I know, it's Mr. Terrific. Yeah. And apparently, two years in our past. Yeah. Didn't, did he die, or did he go to Earth 2? I don't even... He went to Earth 2. I'm not going to even waste time thinking about Mr. Yeah, Terrific. Um, sorry, Mr. Terrific fans, if this ends up in the bloopers. <laughs>